Yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tuber Cesario from the barrio, coming back at you with another video for your butt. And today, man, we're going to go with the 1958 tops. I'm going to showcase my 1958 tops complete set, okay? So, that was my old checklist, man. I checked out the last card that I needed was the Brace Fence Buster, and I completed it a little while ago, a couple, few months ago already. Man, this set took me, like... I don't know, maybe seven years to finish, but it was well worth it. And it wasn't in no hurry, so it was fun. Uh, and man, check it out. Number one card is always Ted Williams. All right. He is always the number one card in every top set that he has been on, which is only like five. But check it out. Then we got Willie Mays. Man, look at that blue background in Willie Mays. Really brings out his dreamy eyes. And then we got Hank Bauer right here, man. So wham, tic-tac-toe. I win, ho. Sorry about that. Uh, but check it out, man. So this is the 1958 tops. You can tell it has some, you know, pretty extreme colors going on here. We got Don Drysdale. One of my best Don Drysdale memories is actually the Mickey Mantle man memory that I heard Mickey Mantle talk about. Where the, they were playing him deep and he bunted and got on first. And Don Drysdale walked up to first and stepped on Mickey Mantle's foot and grinded his cleat into it. And told him, don't you ever do that again. Mickey Mantle was like, yes, sir. You know, uh, we got hammering Hank Aaron, dude. Hank Aaron, man, uh, this is 1958, and 19, by the end of 57, beginning of 58, he had 110 home runs. As you know, he went on to hit 755 home runs. So, how many more home runs did he hit, you know, between here and to finish his career to reach 755? So, 755 minus 110, 645 home runs. Enough about that. He hit 645 more home runs after that picture. We got Don Mossy. Check out the yellow. Really highlights his ears also. So dreamy. He's got that face only Bob Lewis can love. All right. And check it out. We got Dick Gernher and we got Dick Grote. All right. So, we'll have a little fun here, guys. Uh, right now, make a prediction or tell me at the, at the end of the video, try to guess how many dicks there are in the 1958 top set. All right. So right now we got two dicks by the, by the end of the video, how many do you think they will be in here? Start counting on Roger Maris rookie, man, known for his race in 61 when he hit 61 home runs to babe, to beat Babe Ruth's record. Uh, it was a great race. Him and made famous the Eminem boys. There's a movie about it. Awesome. Uh, we got Bob Clemente. Check it out. Bob Clemente. He hated being called Bob. Would ask for years for the card companies, for the team, the press to stop calling him Bob, man. He wanted to be Robert, Roberto Clemente, you know, but for a long time, man, they, they just didn't listen until they gave him the respect he was due. And this guy, Del Rice, you might not recognize him right away. Uh, but he had opened up a chain of restaurants named Del Rice and he was stubborn. And then finally, you know, people kept telling him it should be Del Taco, it should be Del Taco. And he finally changed the name to Del Taco and it became a famous franchise right, where, right when it was about to go bankrupt and he changed the name. So everything is in the name, man. You just never know. So anyways, we got the 1958 tops here. We got Al Kaline, Mr. Tiger played in uh detroit his entire career of 22 years never played for another team so one of those rare ones also uh we got another dick so are you keeping your dick count oh my god there's another dick oh trifecta three dicks in harmony right here so man it's like i'm playing tetris we got three dicks um so keep your count We'll find out at the end how many dicks there are. We got Duke Snyder, the Duke of Flatbush, who I believe hit the most home runs in the 50s, more than any other player in that decade. All right. And we got Robin Roberts, who I believe was the first pitcher to ever pit, uh, give up 500 home runs in his career. He was still a good pitcher. I think I learned that in Jeff Airtime today. We got Sandy Amaro. So a lot of great players, man. Uh, the colors and everything. We've got another dick. Uh, it's for you guys, you know, to decide Bobby Richardson he was real religious man he was really in you know uh, a good piece of trying to keep Mickey Mantle in line you know helped him <laughs> not get kicked out of league or do anything too stupid or you know just protect him Jim Bunning Joe Torrey's brother great pitcher right there the if you guys don't know we got check it out we got Usher boom, 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 boom. yeah uh Johnny Padres man this guy's in a dark place right now uh this set is kind of different uh like jackie jansen there's a lot more all-star jackie jansen's there man i've seen hundreds of them and the reason being 
has to do with the card that I'll talk about at the end that may be coincided with Ted, Ted Williams or not. But the later series were printed a lot more than the first series, which is the total opposite after this. This was like one of the last sets where that happened. And I'll give a kind of explanation as to why. All right. Uh, Billy Muffet. And check it out. Mickey. There's another dick for y'all. Another dick for y'all. Uh, Mickey Mantle. All right. This was my first card of Mickey Mantle I ever got was the 1958. This isn't the original one. This one I broke out of a, I broke out of a slab. And if you guys don't know, back in the days, players used to give fake names. Oh, you might be asking, hey, there's a card missing. No, that's supposed to be card number 145. The player that was supposed to appear on that card was Ed Bucci. Ed Bucci was supposed to be appearing that card, but right before the season started, he got in trouble, all right, for exposing himself, all right, and he went to jail, he did his time, he did community service, he got psychological help, he did community, he did everything he had to do, and returned to the league later the next year and played a couple of years. Nowadays, he will never be forgiven for that. Uh, another dick, hide your dick, y'all, and... Harry Bird. If you guys don't know what the deal with some of these names are, back in the days, the car, the guys would show up to the photographer and give him a form. Gil Hodges, great player. And they would fill out the form and sometimes give fake names, like names that they made up for their junk. Now, like Harry Bird is one of them. All right. Uh, so here we go. We're going to keep going. We got nice team sets. You know, we got Ted Luzinski. He don't need sleeves. You don't need no stinking sleeves. Sandy Koufax, the left hand of God. All right. Uh, one of the greatest pitchers ever. Had like, you know, seven runs, like seven years that were just incredible. His first few years were not so great. I love, I, look at, look at uh, Hollywood Sullivan. I love those, all these catchers. Look at, like, they have nice, they have nice action poses. And if not, it's just a clean headshot. You know, Bob Lewis uh, and Jerry Lumpy. That's what my, I named my dog after, Jerry Lumpy. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, I already forgot. And check it out, man. Al Walker. And because these last series, the last cards were printed more than the first one, man, I got a hundred of these Larry Walkers, man. And check it out, we got Wally Moon. Uh, you gotta remember, this was the 50s. They hadn't invented tweezers yet. So a lot of these guys had some pretty nice um, unibrows. We got Bubba Gump Shrimp. Uh, Jim Gilliam, a great player, Jim Gilliam right there. Another dick for you guys, if you guys are keeping count. Andy Pofko, man. Uh, I always think of Andy Pofko. Always remember that he was just the first card in the 1952 top set. All right, check it out. We got Duke Moss, who was the great-grandfather of Kevin Moss, one of the biggest busts ever. Like I said, no tweezers back then, guys. Sorry. We got Carl Schwachtika. Uh, who else we got in here, man? Uh, Bill Mazeroski, dude. Uh, Bill Mazeroski, uh, hit that game-winning seventh walk, seventh game walk-off home run, man. They win the pennant! They win the pennant! Right? That was him? No. They won the World Series. You're gonna confuse him with Bobby Thompson. We got another dick. Alright? Make it rain! Uh, so... Yeah, so here we go, guys. We got... Turk Lorne, we got Hughes, so we got a lot of great players here. Uh, Warren Spawn, and like I said, guys, here was another guy that um, gave a fake name. All right, this was his, you know, his porn name, the Granny Hammer. So, like I said, guys will give fake names, man, to the photographers. Billy Martin, man, who was traded because they believed that he was gonna mess up Billy uh, Mickey Mantle's career, so they traded him away. Man, we got Harmon Killebrew. I mean, Harmon Killebrew the Killer and Frank Robinson. Frank Robinson, probably the most underrated player ever. All right, ever. Mini Mimoso, a lot of people believe he should be in the Hall of Fame. And Gene Freeze, a lot of people know his um, great-grandson right now who runs, at, I think, for Boston. He runs and beats on people around the track. And like I said, guys, back then, I'm telling you guys, all these guys were going around giving fake names of their junk to the photographers. So did he, you know, and the photographer just didn't know any better. And the first whammy card guy, the first whammy card ever produced 
Whammy! Whammy! All right. It's no chine. It's not chiny, but it's the first whammy cards that ever came out. Uh, we got Brooks Robinson, man. It's like, come on, guys. Really? You guys, like, Brooks Robinson looks like a drooling baby. That's sad. I could have chosen a better picture. We got Let's Play 2. Ernie Banks, man. Mr. Baseball. We do got um, Duke Snyder, Walter Alston. Uh, who else we got here? Whitey Ford. Awesome pitcher. Ted Kluzinski and Ted Williams. That's a sweet pick right there, too, man. And we got Joe Adcock. Uh, if you guys don't know Joe Adcock, he got more, fa he got famouser, more famous, famous year, uh, when he became a doctor, uh, he didn't, he got cut from the team and he became, he went to medical school and he became the first, um, penis enlargement specialty doctor. So it's Dr. Adcock. Uh, a lot of people, he's very famous in Hollywood. Don Nuka, man, great picture, guys. Uh, he's probably overshadowed because he pitched with um, Sandy Koufax and Don Drysdale. But he would have been a number one pitcher in most other teams, man. He was great too, man. Uh, he just played with, you know, he was one of the trios, man, of great, of great pitchers. Orlando Cepeda, nice rookie card. Corners are good, but it's just really off-center, which is why he got that cheap. Uh, nice Braves fence busters with Eddie Matthews and Hank Aaron. Uh, this guy just came from the weed medical shop. Uh, who we got? Anybody else good? Uh, Rocky Colavito again. No tweezers back then. You can't blame him. Check it out. Yogi the Bear Barra. All yellow cards here. Pee Wee Reese. Great player. Great player. One of the best cards is this 53 Bowman Color Pee Wee Reese. Uh, shout out to uh, Bowman53, who that will be his last card that he attains, which is going to be epic. All right, so Nelly Fox. We're coming to the end, guys. Detroit Tigers. Uh, Kenny Powers, um, grandfather. So we got, is that the real Frank Thomas? Did the fr Frank Thomas play for the Pirates? Did he play for the White Sox? Uh, Bob Bowman, who never did get a Bowman card. Nice World Series batting foes. That is an awesome card. That's an awesome picture too that they took it, um, that they um, cropped that out of. And if you guys are into errors, but check out this Eddie Matthews man. You know, played under Aaron, so he was underrated. Check it out, Willie Mays and Duke Snyder. That's a great combo. But Pancho Herrera, for anybody that collects errors, if your thing is errors. The Pancho Herrera is a great error to have. It's not necessarily an error. It's more of a printing flaw. But there's a printing flaw where the blue goes past this way and it covers the A. So there's no A in there. You know, there's basically just not an A in the picture. But it's because the blue um, is go goes over it. And that card has sold for $25,000. All right. The Herrera error in a nine has gone for $25,000. Uh, so... We got um, Lenny Kravitz's great grandfather. Uh, who else we got in here? Joe Taylor. Uh, so this is it, man. Milk Mamas and the Papas. So what do you guys think, man? That this is it, the 1958 set. Uh, it was groundbreaking. It was the first year where they designated rookie cards, where they put the RC logo. This is the old rookie card logo for Stevens. All right, but it was just a, it was a, just a test, and they never did any more after these. Another thing that was groundbreaking: it was the first set to do the All Stars. This is the first set that ever came out with the All Stars. All right, so and the crazy thing about the All Star cards, all right, was that they just picked who they wanted to picture on here. None, none it didn't necessarily mean that all these players were in the All Star team. They just pick their own players. And Stan Musial is the guy who a lot of people think is why they were able to produce so many more cards of the later series, of the higher series. So that's why the higher series has is overprinted. And people are buying them because they wanted the Stan Musial. This is the first time that Stan Musial and Ted Williams appeared in the same set. You know, so that's why if you're going to get a Mickey Mantle, that's like I said, Jackie Jensen, man, I've seen this card a million times. But if you're going to get a Mickey Mantle, this is really cheap 
really cheap because it was so highly produced but i mean it just spits out vintage it's just like hey man i'm vintage check me out it's a sweet car to have so that's it that's the complete set of 1958 these are just some of my doubles like i said man these walkers i have tons of them another punch o'hara but uh i hope you enjoyed it guys that was the 1958 top set in a nutshell <laughs> and bobby thompson who hit the game winning home run that was the pennant winner where they said the giants win the pennant the giants win the pennant the giants win the pennant that was him all right so that's it guys so love the hobby keep collecting baseball cards forever i say let me know what you guys thought of my little um 1958 tops ah 1958 tops review all right love the hobby people keep collecting baseball cards forever i say ciao so i was hoping to be able to do videos of all my sets like that not sure if, if they were good or not let me have some feedback ciao